Hello, and welcome to this film about predicting pH. Um, we're going to be using the pH of solutions to, to find out the H plus ion concentrations and vice versa, so you can be able to predict the pH once you know the H plus ion concentration. We have to do this, as I've said before, in a quite a simple way for year 11, so just for whole number values of pH, okay? So we're only going to be quantitative, right? We're only going to be quantitative. We're only going to try and put exact figures to whole number pHs. All right, but we should be able to make some kind of qualitative statements, or you know, it's bigger than, or it's less than, or it's in the range of, for for solutions that don't have whole number pHs too. Okay, we are also very importantly we're going to consider why it's important to know whether an acid is strong or weak when we're trying to predict the pH of its solution. Okay, here we go. We'll start with strong monoprotic acids. What is the pH of 0.01 mole per liter HCl? Well, remember pH is like, well, it's exactly minus log to the base 10 of the H plus ion concentration. In year 12, you probably just plug this into your calculator because you're using this formula. In year 11, perhaps you're just thinking, oh, right, so I've got two decimal places here, so the pH is 2, okay? Because this is a concentration of 10 to the minus 2, so minus log of that is the pH is 2. Okay, because the concentration of H plus here is the same as the concentration of the acid. How do I know that? Right? How do I know that the concentration of H plus is the same as the concentration of the acid? Well, because I know that hydrochloric acid is strong. And if I write the hydrolysis equation, I'll show a one-way arrow to show that all of these molecules are going to turn into ions. Okay? And just remember that writing H3O plus is the same as writing H plus. They mean the same thing. So for every HCl, I'll get an H3O+. So my concentration of H3O+, or my concentration of H+, will be the same as the acid. This value here is 10 to the minus 2, so log of that, minus log of that, is 2. Okay, or in other words, two decimal places in year 11 for the H plus ion concentration, ending in a 1, pH is 2. Okay? Polyprotic acids. Can't be quite so precise here. Let's have a look why not. Well, let's write the hydrolysis equation. We're going to treat this in the simplest way possible as if it just splits up into all the ions straight away. So as if it reacts with two water molecules to produce 2H3O plus and SO4 2 minus. As we said in a previous film, in actual fact the second step is weak, <coughs> but we're not going to worry about that. We're going to assume that every single one of these forms two H3O pluses. So what's the concentration of H plus going to be? Well, that's going to be twice that value, 0.02 moles per litre. Now, if you're in year 12, or if you want to use your calculator, you can find out exactly what minus log to the base 10 of 0.02 is. OK? If you're in year 11, you can just go, oh, well, it's not a power of 10 here. It's not a simple power of 10. So I don't have to calculate this number exactly. But what I do know is that this is greater than 0.01. So the pH must be less than what the pH would be at that hydrogen ion concentration. Okay, so it's less than 2. What's the next whole number on the pH scale? Well, that's 1. Well, that's when you've got a concentration of H plus ions of 0. And this is definitely less than that. So the pH is greater than 1, but it's less than 2. Okay? So you can't be precise about that one in year 11 and in fact you can't be precise about it in year 12 either because you can't really make this assumption that all the H2SO4 is going to turn into H3O plus okay but what you can definitely say is that the H plus ion concentration will be greater than this okay and less than 0.1 so you can give a range for the pHs moving on weak acids here's where it's even more difficult I suppose to be precise because we've got this hydrolysis equation CH3COH plus H2O. Now we've got a weak acid, so this reversible arrow comes along. And hardly any of this stuff is going to turn into these ions. Okay, the trouble we've got, right, is that we can't really predict how much of this is going to turn into these. So what do we know about the H plus ion concentration? Well, we know that it's going to be a hell of a lot less than 0.01, right? It's going to be less than 0.01 moles per litre. 
Okay. How much less? Well, we can't predict that. We're not expected to, whether we're in year 11 or year 12. But we know that the pH, if it was exactly 0.01, would be 2. This concentration of H plus is lower than that, so the pH must be greater than 2. In fact, it would be quite a lot greater than 2, because about 1 in every 100 to 1 in every 1,000 of these will actually ionize. So we'll get a pH of probably about 4 or 5. Okay, But we don't have to predict that with any kind of accuracy in year 11 or 12. We just need to be able to say that the pH will be greater than 2, because we know something, some small amount, about the H plus ion concentration. Okay? We're going to touch on some very basic ideas here. You don't really have to worry about this until you get into year 12. Um, but we've touched on it earlier, so let's just go into it a little bit here. What is the pH of 0.01 mole per litre NaOH? Well, here we don't know the H plus ion concentration, unless we're in year 12 and we've done the formula for it. What we do know is the concentration of OH minus. And when that equals 1, which it doesn't here, when it equals 1 mole per litre, then the pH, if you remember, is 14. Okay, This is actually a hundredth of that value, so the pH will drop by two whole numbers. Okay, But as I say, this sort of thing is not a year 11 thing at all. In year 12, it's actually considered quite a simple problem, but you'll use a formula in year 12 to find this. Okay. What we're going to do just very quickly to sort of sum up what we've done in this film is we're going to look at a question that you might get in year 11 or 12. Okay, So you are going to try and figure out roughly what the pHs are in these solutions. Okay, You don't have to put any real numbers to them, although you can probably put numbers to some. Okay, Now let's assume they're all the same concentration. It doesn't really matter what the concentration is. Let's say it's one mole per litre. What ones can we be precise about? Well, the strong base and the strong acid. Oops. <laughs> Let's just put that back. They're 1 mole per litre, so the strong base will be 14. The strong acid will be 0. Okay. This one will actually be less than 0. It will be more acidic than the HCl because it's got more H plus ions to give away than HCl. We can't be precise about this figure. We can be precise about those two. As far as we're concerned in the waste course, we can't be precise about this figure. What can we say about this one? Well, this is a weak acid. So its pH is not going to be as low as the strong acids. Okay, there'll be less H plus ions in solution. So it'll be greater than zero. What have we got here? We've got a weak base. Well, it's going to be greater than seven, right? But it's going to be less. Oops, that says, uh, yeah, that's right. But it's going to be less than 14 because it's not as strong as sodium hydroxide. It's a weak base. So the ammonia will have some value somewhere between 14 and 7. But you can see that for this question, it doesn't matter whether we're exact about these things, because we're starting with the lowest one. That's H2SO4. Okay? We're then going up to HCl, which is at 0. Then this one's greater than 0, but it's going to be less than 7, because it is acidic. So CH3COH. And then we'll move on to ammonia, because that's a weak base, and then sodium hydroxide, because that's a strong base. Okay? So you don't have to be quantitative about these things in order to get these kind of simple year 11 questions right. Okay? That's about it for this film. If you've got any questions about it, please come and ask. Remember, we're keeping it simple in year 11, and we're using our calculators in year 12. So we don't have to worry about the maths here, either way. Okay? But if some of the concepts are difficult, please come and get some help with them.